So what's up guys, I actually wanted to make this video a very long time ago, actually since the 30k video, so one of my first videos I ever uploaded, I wanted to make a type of timeline video or maybe break down my earnings per month, I'm probably still going to make that, but uh, till this day I got one question asked probably the most times of all questions and it is how to like get into the automotive industry and as you can probably imagine the answer is not just one simple answer it's a bit more complex than that so the best thing i think i can do is basically explain to you how i got there uh, i'm not telling you to follow my path but still maybe i it's probably interesting to just see um, how i've done it maybe you can learn a thing or two from it i don't know so uh we're gonna scroll back in time uh reverse time i don't know what year exactly it was i must have been 16 17 18 years old i'm really not sure how old I was at the time. Uh, but basically, this is me, uh, a clear... Deep shit. <laughs> like, um, I didn't really like to flex, but I guess I did flex from time to time. There's definitely quite some photos um, where I was flexing, but next to flexing, I did have a band, so I was playing in a band. I had concerts and stuff, even was earning a little bit of money at the time. And what I also did a lot was skating. I skated all day, I did mountain bike stuff, I did anything that uh, was risky and hurt my body and broke bones. I broke my arm, I broke my rib, I broke my nose twice, uh, why it's crooked till this day. I always did this kind of stuff. But there was one big thing I also did next to all my other little things I did, um, and that was drawing. So I was drawing a lot. Uh, so anytime I wasn't outside skating and doing stuff, so if it was raining, for example, I was pretty much drawing or even building stuff. I built potato guns. I always did something with my hands, which was ironic because my er uh, parents always told me that uh, like I skate all day and everything, but I'm trying to basically learn art and do art and maybe even work with art at some point, but risking to break my arms. Uh, but ironically, I broke a lot of stuff, but till this day, my right hand and arm is completely fine. I've never broke it, not even a finger. Um, so it's worked um, out at the end. Uh, I survived and I don't really skate anymore. So yeah, I was drawing a lot. What was I drawing? I was drawing a lot of monsters and stuff, uh, robots and just random stuff, really. And at some point, uh, I theoretically knew about 3D because when I was 13, I still remember uh, my dad showed me Maya and I was doing uh, Maya, but I never really got it. I was just too young. I didn't understand rendering. I didn't understand all of this. I just knew like really the basics. And back then there weren't really YouTube tutorials either. So I was just a 3D noob. I, I wasn't able to use it. Um, so I just kept drawing. But then I uh, kind of heard of Cinema 4D and then I actually started with Cinema 4D and I slowly understood what it meant to render and do stuff and like, yeah, do 3D. So then I started uh, modeling cars, uh, surprisingly. So uh, pretty much from my car drawings, I transitioned to modeling cars, but I still didn't really um, think I would become a car designer, which I haven't. <laughs> so I was right there. But I also didn't think I would work for the automotive industry. I really was just rendering cars, modeling cars, it was just a fun little hobby since I was drawing anyways. So I kept on doing that. And at some point, I actually got an internship in an agency that had a ton of clients. So everything that automotive of clients that everything that so many clients um so i was starting to work for all kinds of stuff i was actually working for the german army i was doing the magazines i was rendering their fighting helicopters and stuff like that and old tanks and stuff for their magazine uh, of the german army and also yeah, just everything i did a lot of uh, farmer stuff so medicine stuff and at the time even i didn't really see it as a car job, but I also did Volkswagen uh, stuff. So I did like infographics of like the factory of Volkswagen. There were little people doing stuff and then there was text of what's happening in the factory. So this kind of stuff um, I was doing pretty much all day. And then a bit later on, I got kind of my first car job for Audi, but it wasn't really a car job. So it was kind of like about emissions or something. I barely remember and I also couldn't find this render. Um, and it basically was the Audi from the rear. So a top shot of the rear and there was just smoke coming out. So. Uh, I'm not sure how I simulated the smoke. I might have used Blender actually, I'm not sure, but I was doing everything uh, in Cinema 4D, but I might have used Blender because I Googled how to simulate smoke or something and maybe I found Blender, I'm not sure anymore. And I think I rendered smoke in Blender and Photoshopped it onto the Cinema 4D render, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. So that was my first 
kind of real automotive job. And from there on, I actually got a real automotive job. And that was actually for the Bentley magazine. So yeah, and this is pretty much just the render. And with this render in my portfolio, this pretty much opened all kinds of doors. So with this, really, this whole thing got really launched through the roof. And with, I don't know how old I was when I got the first Mustang, as you know, and then I got the second Mustang, just everything is escalated completely. Um, it got more and more and more and more. And then I founded actually a few companies and then I started doing ArcVis and I pretty much do everything now. Um, and actually myself, I don't even do everything now. So um, yeah, I'm just well networked slowly and actually through YouTube I'm even more uh, networked so I've got so many 3D artists uh, thanks, uh, thanks to YouTube so that's how I'm scaling like all the time pretty much uh, yeah that's pretty much what I do nowadays like I don't do anything that's what I do no I, I still work I still work a lot um, but I yeah try to work less and I try to do more what I want to do um, as you probably know by now um, so yeah I guess that's it for today. I guess that helped, maybe. I don't know. So uh, let's sum up. I was just doing everything as a hobby, drawing, stuff like that. I got an internship for a very, 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 very low paid wage. I got exposed to very, very big brands um, to build up a portfolio. And from there on with this portfolio, it was not easy, but definitely way easier without it uh, to get into very, very big uh, companies, to get very big projects. And yeah, and now it's just a no brainer. Like it now it just um, goes like on its own. Like I never have to search for work. Like I just sit and wait and take photos of birds. And when I get a job, I don't know, I look at it. <laughs>